This instructional video will show you the simple step-by-step -step method of building a hip rocker chair. These instructions are the same with all sizes of the chair. The total time to build the chair is around 20 minutes approximately. Check the contents of your hip rocker chair package. It should contain the following. Two jelly bean shaped sides. Two support struts. One table front. One seat back. One seat base. One tabletop. A bag of small screws. A bag of large screws. Four connecting blocks. One cushion inner. One cushion cover. And one safety harness. The basic tools required are a pair of scissors and a standard screwdriver. The assembly of this product is ideally done with two persons, although it can be done with one person but may take more time and requires more care. Firstly, place one of the jelly bean shaped sides face down with the wooden bearers face up. Place the seat back and the seat base into position against the timber bearer and, using the large screws, secure into place. If you have two persons, when putting in the screws, get the second person to push against the unit to support it. If only one person is assembling the unit, ensure that the unit is up against a settee or a wall to have something to push against when inputting the screws. Please make sure that the unit is protected with a cloth or bubble wrap to prevent scratching the unit or your furniture or wall. Secondly, screw each of the white connecting blocks to the front and back struts using the small screws. The two struts can now be screwed into position to the front and rear of the chair side using the small screws into the pre-drilled holes. Make sure the white connecting blocks are facing the outer edge of the jelly bean. Once this is done, the table front piece can be positioned and secured with two large screws, ensuring that the bearers line up with the markings on the timber. If you have two persons, place the opposite jelly bean side face down on the floor and carefully turn the first piece over and align all the struts and the seat back and the seat base. Then screw all the struts to the second side in the same fashion as before. If only one person, place the second jelly bean on top of the complete first side, carefully aligning the struts up with the bearers, holding the unit carefully whilst inputting the screws. Once done, the hip rocker can be placed upright it is advised that before you continue to the next step that you check every screw and tighten up. The five-way safety harness can now be secured in place by pushing the buckles through the slots. These will go through easily, but you may have to turn the buckles over. Test the clips and ensure you are familiar with the use before securing the child into the chair. Once the straps are securely in place, Place the cushion inner inside the cushion cover and then position it into place using the Velcro fastener. The easiest way to place the child into the chair is ensure that the buckle fastening is undone and all the straps are away from the cushion. Pick the child up with one hand under its bottom, taking their weight, and place the other hand at the top of the cast in the middle of the child's back. Please make sure that the straps are not too tight around the child's arms and around the cast itself, but close enough to keep them secure. We recommend that the lower strap between the legs passes between the bar and the cast to prevent unwanted pressure being applied to the bar. To remove the child, undo the buckle, remove the straps from around the arms and cast and lift out the child using the same hand placements as before. If you wish to insert the table, please make sure the child is strapped in, 
Place the long end of the table towards the front of the chair and let it rest on the bearers. Let it down gently, checking that the child has not got arms or toys that could be trapped and lower the table gently. To remove, just reverse the process. Your hip rocker chair is now complete. <laughs>